Power Twist Wedge Belt Installation Instructions. Disassembly. Hold belt upside down. With one hand, bend back as far as possible. Twist one tab 90 degrees parallel with the slot. Pull end of link over tab. Repeat with the second tab. Rotate last tab 90 degrees parallel with the slot. Pull belt end through three links. Assembly. With tabs pointing outwards, place end tab through three links at once and twist tab into place. Bend back and insert second tab through second hole by twisting tab 90 degrees with thumb. Repeat with remaining tab. Ensure tab returns to position across belt. How to measure. Pull the belt hand tight around the pulleys, overlapping the last three tabs with the three corresponding holes when pulled snug. It is recommended to mark the belt with a pen to assure the proper links are removed. Disassemble the belt, removing the marked tabs. For the correct installed belt length and to assure optimum belt tension when running, count the number of links that remain and use the chart to determine how many links to remove. Installation Turn the belt with tabs to the inside before installing. Determine the direction of drive rotation. The belt must travel with tabs trailing or following the belt direction arrow. Fit the belt in the nearest groove of the smallest pulley. Roll the belt onto the larger pulley, turning the drive slowly. Belt may seem very tight. That is OK. For multiple belt drives, work the belt from groove to groove. On particularly wide drives, it is recommended to install half the belt from the inboard side and half from the outboard. Retensioning. Like all high performance V belts, Power Twist wedge belts require the maintenance of correct drive tension to operate efficiently. Experience indicates that drive tension should be checked between 15 and 60 minutes running at full load. A retension may be necessary depending on the application. Any initial belt stretch is then taken up. Subsequently, belt tension should be checked periodically and adjusted when necessary.